Hey there, happy Monday. I hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome to my office. This is where it all happens. So I thought I'd come to you this Monday from where I do most of my work for Knots of Grace. So if you are not familiar with Knots of Grace and not familiar with me, welcome. My name's Kathleen Borsch. I am the owner, the founder actually, and the maker of the products that you find at knotsofgrace.com. And I come to you here on Mondays to bring a little bit of inspiration to start off our week on a positive note. I do want to share a product with you and it's not the one that's on the wall, but our pocket rosaries are very popular and it's because of their durability and their accessibility throughout the day. So this one here is called the Pardon Crucifix Pocket Rosary. And it's because of the Pardon Crucifix. There is the front and there is the back. And these are on this beautiful, gosh, it just reminds me of the desert. And we are coming into Lent soon. And as you know, like last year, the desert comes to mind when we talk about Lent. So this it would be a great one to have with you during the Lenten season, if you choose to have this with you. It also has St. Benedict and the Miraculous Medal on here as well as everything that is on the back. And what I wanted to share with you is this little card that comes along with it. And I'm gonna to read to you what is in the card so you know what you're getting and you know a little bit more about the Pardon Crucifix because if you're like me, I was just drawn to this crucifix because of its beauty, its intricacy, if you can see here. You can see, I know it's a little blurry, but there's just, it's just beautiful. And then on the back, it's beautiful. But let me read this to you, it shouldn't take too long. The pardon crucifix is a powerful sacramental that ranks among some of the most effective weapons against Satan the Miraculous Medal, and the St. Benedict Medal. It's unclear why a lot of Catholics aren't familiar with this powerful tool, but we are working to change that. The front of the crucifix reads, Jesus Nazareth Rex Judeorum, translated to Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. The back of the crucifix has an image of Jesus' sacred heart, along with the texts, Father, forgive them, and behold this heart which has so loved men. Some pardon indulgence crucifixes also may have both a miraculous medal and a St. Benedict medal added below the arms of Christ. In 1905, Pope Pius X declared indulgences upon the pardon crucifix. In 1907, these indulgences were also approved in the pardon of the poor souls in purgatory. You can read the full declaration for more detail and conditions applicable to the indulgences. So you get this little booklet. It's attached to each of the pocket rosaries. This is just a beautiful piece to have in your arsenal of prayer tools. And as you know, the rosary is a powerful weapon against Satan. Okay. Let's get into this week's positive inspiration. Open your books, if you have one, to January 14th and take out your bookmark rosary. This week's theme is embracing change. This week's Bible verse is Ecclesiastes 3.1. And it says, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. Anne Morrill Lindbergh gained fame as a bride of aviator Charles Lindbergh and her 1955 book, Gift from the Sea, was a bestseller. Anne had sound advice about the changing tides of life. It is only in growth, reform, and change, paradoxically enough, that true security is found. For each of us, real security means mastering the art of sailing our little boats on the shifting seas of life. Sometimes life's waters are smooth, sometimes they're choppy. When you encounter changing conditions, as you most certainly will from time to time, be flexible, be persistent, and be optimistic. When you learn to embrace change, when you learn to go and to grow with the flow, it's clear sailing ahead. And this week's quote is from Liz Curtis Higgs, and she said, with God, 
it isn't who you were that matters, it's who you are becoming. Now, isn't that something that we should put on a post-it note and put it wherever we see notes every single day as a, a very beautiful reminder? All right, so I hope you take time now to sit and pray and just have some quiet time with God and talk, talk to him about this message and about what changes are happening in your life and how he can help you embrace those changes as you go through them. If you are new to our channel here on YouTube, please subscribe. That way, every time I drop some new content, you get it straight away. And if you would like to get it even earlier, a little notification in your inbox if you prefer to have that, plus a bunch of other perks, please join our Inner Circle of Grace VIP community. There's year-round discounts and like I said, other perks too. You can find all of that in the link in the bio. And I will see you here again next Monday with some more inspiration. But I hope until then you have a blessed week and I hope the light of Christ is radiating from you each and every day. God bless you. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us.